it's time for another pick a video. Welcome back to another pick a video as you guys saw. I went over to Bargain Hunters this week. Really wanted to buy that Tron arcade system, but unfortunately, I do not have $3,000. So we ended up going, hitting up a couple thrift stores, looking for stuff that I could actually afford. And I actually found some stuff from my collection. It's been a while since I bought anything from my collection. All right, as you guys saw, I went over to Bargain Hunters. Didn't get nothing. Went down to Imperial Beach, stopped off at a local Goodwill. Didn't find nothing. Struck out over there. Surprisingly, I did find a couple things over at the Desert Industries, which I usually strike out at. Picked up a couple games inside there. First one I picked up is for the PlayStation 2 for three bucks. I didn't have it, and that is the Atari Anthology. This is the system that I started on, Atari 2600. And it's also complete. Oh yeah, with Manuel. It's shiny. The other one that I picked up, I actually did not have as well, and is also for my collection. And that is a game called Frogger's Adventure, The Rescue. I didn't have it. Just complete in the box. Apparently it was available at Goodwill. And then somebody bought it. And then somebody donated it to the Desert. And uh, they just put the sticker right above the Goodwill sticker. This game has gotten around. Alright, the next place that I hit up was the local Luna's video game store in Chula Vista. Picked up three items inside there. They're having a buy one, get one free for the PlayStation 1 game through the end of February. So if you have a chance, go hit up one of the two local Lunas in San Diego. And make sure you take advantage of that deal. Because that is a deal you don't want to pass up on. And speaking of deals, I picked up two PS1 games for my collection. They're both 15 bucks a piece. So buy one, get one free. Basically $7.50 each. First one I picked up, I didn't have. And this is a collector's edition of Legacy of Cain. Soul. Riva. Oh yeah. How do you like that shiny black glossy disc? Oh yeah. That's easily a fifteen dollar game right there. All right, and the next game that I picked up, it looked really cool. Never seen it before. And that is a game called The Grand Stream Saga. When I saw this, I knew I had to get it. All right, the last one that I picked up is an NES game. It's been a while since I found it out in the wild. This is a good one. It's from IRAM. Great, great company. Um, this one kind of reminds me a lot of Fire and Ice. And that is Kickle Cubicle. Look at that. Look at that. Only $14.99. Couldn't pass up on that one. So, end up going to uh, the brand new Goodwill store just up the road from Luna's. Not too hard to find parking spots these days. I guess it was probably just the first week and everybody wanted to go check it out. But now it's not too bad. So I do recommend to go check out the new brand new Goodwill store on Broadway in Chula Vista. It's a big store. It's a big store. And if you got to go poop, they got a bathroom. It's a win-win. But anyways, I picked up two items inside there. The first thing that I picked up was a DVD brand new sealed for $3. Keeping it. And that is Daddy's Home with Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg. Dad, Daddy wants to talk to you. Oh, Dusty? Super to make your acquaintance. I'm not going to give you my social security number. Cholesterol, 180. Credit score, 758. Never seen it? Figured for three bucks? Why not? All right, and the last item that I picked up at that local Goodwill, spent five bucks on it. 
I could probably get at least 30 to 40 dollars. I thought it was brand new when I first looked at it, but apparently the top of it is cut. But everything is in brand new like condition. And that is a Microsoft Sidewinder Strategic Commander thingamajiggy. The Strategic Commander, the first controller designed specifically for the PC strategy gamer. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool if you're playing if you play PC games. Apparently it helps helps your game get be faster than everybody else. For five bucks, it was a no-brainer. Picked it up. I opened it up. I looked at it. It's got all the manuals. It's got the disc and the software disc on there. That item I will be flipping. So I will be able to, to recoup some of my money for selling that item. All right, so that's all I got over at that Goodwill. I ended up hitting up the other local Lunas to take advantage of the buy one, get one free PlayStation 1 games that they had for sale. Picked up two more games inside there. First one... For $7.99, I picked up Tiny Toon Adventures, The Great Beanstalk. This thing is actually worth at least 10 bucks, so not bad for $7.99. Couldn't pass up on that. Didn't have it, now I do. And the last game that I picked up, this one obviously was free. Buy one, get one free. Uh, had it been about a year ago, this game would have been worth about close to a hundred bucks, but now has dropped down dramatically. It was only worth about six to seven bucks, but I figured what the heck, I'll pick it up just in case the price goes back up anytime. And, uh, I already have, I believe at least one, maybe two other copies just in case they go back up and I, and I'll have a couple extra ones to sell. And that is a PS1 game called Battle Stations. Not a bad game, not a bad game. Disc is in fairly good condition. There's a couple light scratches on there, but other than that, pretty nice. Now the Sega Saturn version, I don't know how much that one was worth, but uh, it's worth about maybe 35 bucks these days if you find it on the Sega Saturn. So definitely worth more on Sega Saturn, but for the PS1 version, it's only worth like six, seven bucks. But you never know, you never know. All right, so that was my haul for the week. That's uh, everything that I got. Pretty much everything is for my collection, except for that Sidewinder thingamajiggy. But real quick before I go, I've got an honorable mention. As you guys saw, I went to the SoCal Retro Game and Expo a couple weeks ago and uh, met the Game Chasers. Jay and Billy ended up picking up the Season 4 Game Chasers on Blu-ray right here. I opened it up. I have popped in both of the Blu-rays. I have watched it. Disc 1 is all the episodes. Disc 2 is all the bonus features. It was a fun watch. Not sure when this is going to be coming out, but it should be available soon from what Billy was saying to, you know, for shipping. Uh, but for now, I guess they're still taking orders. Pretty sure they're taking orders. But if you're ever at an expo and they're there, take full advantage and go check out their booth because you'll be able to pick this up. They have them. They just haven't started shipping them yet for some reason. Other than that, that's going to do it for this week's Fluffy Gamer Show slash pickup video. I'm your host. I am your boy. The round one. And now, as always, guys, I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>
I hope so. Fighting the system like a two-water day.